Hey guys, back with another video. This time we're checking out X-Plane 1120VR2, new release that just came out with some new features from Laminar Research. We wanted to go over each one of them, give you an idea of uh, what you can expect when upgrading to this version. Now, they are working on a release 3, a VR3, because there were some, apparently some, some major bugs that they have to correct, and that's supposed to be coming out shortly. But I'm just going to go over VR2 just to give you an idea because the features are basically going to be the same. So there's six new capabilities. You got 3D mouse, laser manipulation, yoke modes and settings, VR controller customization, VR quick zoom, and Windows Mixed Reality support. So we're going to go over the first five. Mi Windows Mixed Reality support I can't really show you because I don't have a, that headset. Uh, I'm sure the people with, the, with that headset are very pleased that they'll, they have now have that support. I noticed a very interesting uh, capability. If you look at the teleport, you can see now there's four little circles inside the plane there, and I can actually select on each circle and put myself wherever I want to in the plane. So if I wanted to go in the back of the plane, I can go in the back of the plane. So they've kind of changed the way they've done that. So let me go in the front seat here. Let's talk about the first thing, which is 3D mouse. So there we go. Just basically wiggle the mouse, and there's your mouse. It takes a little bit of getting used to it. Sort of hovers in the 3D space, okay, and wants to manipulate whatever you put it, put it to. But it does work well. You can see here. Let me just go back to. Again, it takes a little getting used to. For example, select flight plan, okay. And I can now just basically take this and I can, I just click the right mouse button, sorry, left mouse button uh, to, to manipulate the list. It'd be nice if you had the scroll wheel, but I guess it's fine. So if I wanted to just load that up, I would just hit enter and boom, that flight plan is now loaded. So if I go in here and take a look at flight plan, you hit that cursor. And now I can scroll down or I can hit the left mouse button to basically con control the scroll. Yeah, that's basically how it works. But it allows you to manipulate anything in the space, which is great for third-party planes. I haven't had any problems with this. Now, I'm running this on a separate system. I have a second X-Plane 11 system set up to do beta testing when a new release comes out. No plugins at all. It's all completely vanilla. No extra scenery. It's just a completely clean installation, all right? You can also control the yoke as you used to be able to with the mouse. Get rid of the yoke if you want to and click all your buttons. So again, this will come in very handy with third-party planes. So that's pretty simple. Second thing was laser manipulation, and that's with the touch controller. So now it's pretty cool. What you do is you have this green line, and there's really two forms of this green line. This light green line, and when you when you just barely touch the trigger, okay, I'm just barely touching the trigger. When you fully touch the, the trigger, you can see the green line turns much brighter, okay? And the reason why that is is that because when you first just touch it, okay, what it does is it allows you to get your aim, okay, and latches on to a particular thing, and then when you pull it full, you actually grab that thing, and now it can turn it. But here you can basically do the light touch, find the button you want, and then click and turn it on. And that's how basically it works. So very simple, and what's, that, what's nice about that is when you have a physical yoke, like me, now you can keep your elbow on your armrest, and you can do all your manipulation without having to lean in, or what's nice about it is you can just grab that, latch onto it, and turn. See that heading bug moving there. So that's laser manipulation, very simple, and I think a really, really cool feature. All right, next is yoke modes, okay? So now what they did was, let me get my yoke back here. So they give you two modes for your yoke. So if I go back to configuration here, and I go to VR hardware, okay? You can see VR manipulations, manipulator settings. So realistic yoke or ergonomic yoke. So I have it set up for realistic yoke, okay? So if I go back to the plane, okay, and I grab on to that yoke, if I move the, the controller up and down, it's going to turn the yoke. If I push it back and forward, it's going to basically give you your ascend and descending, okay, your pitch and your roll. So now if I go back, let me unlatch that. If I go back here and I go to uh, configuration, I go to ergonomic yoke, I can adjust the ratio and the sensitivity, which is kind of cool. So let's say I want the sensitivity a little bit lower. Okay, I'm going to say OK, done, resume flight. Now if I latch on to the yoke, it works the way it, orig it originally came out. When I pitch the touch controller, it pitches the plane. When I turn the touch controller, it turns the plane. I actually became 
more uh, c- accustomed to that. Even though I thought at first that the realistic would be better, I, th- I personally like the ergonomic when I'm flying with a touch controller. But now you've got those two choices, which is great, right? So that's the yoke adjustment. Now you've got uh, VR controller customization. So if I go to, back to the settings here, and I go to joystick, I can now customize the VR controller. So right now I'm looking at the right controller. Okay, you can see it moves on the, it shows it's moving on the axis pad as I, as I move the trigger and stuff, okay? But I can bind things to these tr- buttons if I want to. So that's a pretty handy thing for those who want to experiment with that. And it will work for both controllers, the left or the right, all right? So that's a cool new feature. The next thing is the quick zoom, all right? This is pretty simple. What you do is the X button or your A button on your controller, when you click that, it zooms you quickly into the panel. This is a nice feature. Now, I personally have zoom set up on my hat switch, on my actual yoke, my physical yoke, but this is a nice feature because if I just want to boom, zoom in real quick and look at something on the instrument panel, I can do that. Or if I want to zoom real quick and look at something in the distance out the window, I can do that, okay? That's basically it. Those are the things that are new in VR2, and I'm sure they fixed a bunch of other bugs and stuff. Again, I haven't had any issues flying around with this new release. I know some some people have, uh, and I know that Laminar posted that they're going to be coming out with an update real soon, so look for that. You know, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Hit that like button if you like what you saw, and don't forget to subscribe to Bambino Games for more X-Plane 11 in VR. Have a great day, and fly safe. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.